Here's another interesting one from the ACT. So I've drawn out the question for you a little bit. So here's um, the equation. It tells you it's the equation of a circle, but you should recognize this anyway as the equation of a circle. It has a center of 0, 1, and a radius of 1, as shown in the diagram here. Now it asks you, if it rolls over twice, where will its new center be? Well, I guess, where will the new circle be? This is kind of neat. So first of all, if, if we roll this circle over along the x-axis, um, its center on the uh, y-coordinate won't change, and its radius won't change. So just check your answers quickly to see if there are any that you can eliminate just based on that. Um, turns out there aren't, so whatever, we have to do some work now. So let's imagine what happens if we roll this along by two rotations. So this point here is going to roll around here and it's going to end up somewhere over here. Now the distance that this point travels is going to be whatever the circumference of the circle is. So if the circle has a radius of 1, whoops, the circumference is 2 pi times the radius. So in other words that's 2 pi. So this point here, the circle after one rotation, is 2 pi. If we rotate again, by the same logic, it's going to have its center at 4 pi. Now, this is at um, positive 4 pi, so what needs to go in the equation for the x is something, well, it is not something like this, it's exactly like this. So you want to pick the option that has that term in your answer, which is k. Okay.